Uh, Rice is a really good team. Um, I think it's easy for people to look at their record and and uh, assume that they're not, but um, they're playing really well, particularly in conference play. They've played everybody tight for the most part. Uh, one of the, the the hardest playing teams that we've seen on film. I mean, those kids are going to play from tip to the end. Um, they execute really well out of their offense. Read screens great. Um, they have some tough matchups for us in terms of their skill, and I think defensively they're very patient, and they're doing a good job stopping people. So uh, for us, it's going to be important that we are patient within our offense, uh, look for really good shots, and then we've got to be able to execute defensively and defend their stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think it's always a benefit when you've played a coach over and over and over. You kind of learn their tendencies. Um, you know, with a new coach, you don't have that. But um, you know, Rice is in the same in the same boat. You know, with every with everybody in the league. So um, you know, in a lot of ways, it, it kind of is a wash. Well, we were fantastic offensively in that game. I mean, there's not going to be very many games where we play that well offensively and don't win the game. Um, you know, for us, it came down to defense and. Unfortunately, uh, we had some foul trouble that altered our defensive game plan significantly. Um, but at the same time, the challenge is still there in front of our kids. Like, for us to, to finish well and for us to do well in February, we have to take pride defensively. We can't let people, regardless of the game plan, regardless of the changes we have to make, we have to take pride in getting stops and getting rebounds. And, um, you know, we continue to make that clear to our kids. and. Uh, just have to keep working on it. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. This is going to be our, you know, seven out of nine we're going to have on the road. Uh, not an ideal conference schedule, but um, it just goes into kind of our mantra in the entire season. You, you got to control what you can control, and uh, we can't change the schedule. Um, we have an opportunity to go on the road where we've played well, but not great. We've been close, but haven't closed out. And so it's another challenge for us to hopefully play well and close out two wins. Um, that's a good question. I mean, we don't talk about it, honestly. I don't think it's worth talking about something that you can't control. Uh, I don't want to focus on the negative. Uh, it is what it is. This wasn't in front of us. Um, the good thing is our kids like to nap on planes, so we get an opportunity to get some naps. Um, they get to miss class. I think they like that. <laughs> um, so there's some positives in their minds. Uh, in our minds, obviously, that's not as positive, but we have study hall on the road to make up for that. And, you know, again, we, we do what we have to do. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't say uh, there's any strategies f uh, for Grace necessarily. Um, you know, I think the impressive thing about her is regardless of how, how um, dominant she's been in these last three games, she's come to practice the same kid that she was um, in our first two weeks. Uh, she comes every day to get better. She comes every day to grow. She's very coachable. Um, teammates haven't treated her any different. She haven't acted any different. And so um, we're just going to continue to give her opportunities. And I think that's the biggest thing. We've started to play her at the four. So her minutes have gone up. Um, she's had a lot more opportunities to do what she's been able to do.